Mark, a one or draw today. What's your thoughts on the performance? Um, probably sort of good, the bad, the ugly out there, but I'm always pleased the way we rallied. We certainly ended on the good. Um, our second half performances have been very pleasing of late. Um, first half's always cagey affairs. Um, different type of opposition for us today. Um, probably had a lot more of the ball than we than we probably been used to of, of late. So that little transition to get used to that. Um, no excuses from our end. Um, we did have some disruption. Um, we've planned and prepped a certain way, and we had some real last. You know, after training yesterday, the way we prepped and prepared, and um, we had some disruption to our team. So again, full credit to the lads for adapting very quickly. Some players taking on new roles, different responsibilities. Uh, first half, I felt that we defended well. We were strong. Maidenhead are an experienced side, experienced players. Ask a lot of questions. You really have to defend. Um, physical, robust. And we stood up to that and we went sloppy, a vital part of the game. Uh, something we've been working on, we have a certain way of dealing with that. And we didn't, that will always be my fault. Um, so we've got to make sure that we you know, have full clarity in, in what we need to do. Because um, we get you get punished in this league. Any part of sloppiness, you get punished. And other, we always know that we're going to get stronger as the game goes on. We always know that the openings going to become uh, more. I feel that we're getting fitter and sharper and stronger. Um, the boys are working really hard and that we created... A host of chances in the second half. I think we hit the post twice um, with Achi and Joshua Wow and Jaden's full stair caper into a good couple of saves. So um, I think their goalkeeper was busy and had some some great saves. And um, we've probably you know done enough to try and try and get those three points in the end. But the first half we um, needed to be a little bit tighter, um, a little bit more clarity in what we're doing. And then sometimes that is you know we're ever evolving and and the games throw different challenges at you. And we probably. Our decision making was a little bit off at times in the first half, and uh, you know we made some tweaks again. Second half, we had a, a slight change, and, and again, full credit to the boys for taking that on during the game. And I think we we finished in the ascendancy, and we're unlucky not to get the three points. Let's talk about the starting lineup. Obviously, as you mentioned, there are a few disruptions from the starting lineup, but the boys that have come in and done the job. You know, Ryan Glover playing up front today. They've done well. They've done well. Yeah, absolutely. They've done really well, and especially when it's thrown on 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 them late. Uh, Ryan Glover's got all the attributes for a nine. I put him on a couple of weeks ago. He came up there. I've worked with Ryan for a long time now, and I, I think he's got all, all of those attributes to be a very good nine. But he's also played probably three different positions in the last three or four games for us. So again, that shows his versatility. Um, ben Schroll's dropped into the team again, um, done very well. Um, Chambers shifted out, and then I shifted him back in. So um, yeah, the, the boys have got to be ready for that, um, for them changes and twists. That's what the game throws at you. And uh, you know, the boys have showed the characteristics again. You know, we can be forgiven for some sometimes um, impurities and sometimes, you know, that lack of clarity because of, um, you know, we had the ball a lot more today and, and we've got to be better with it. And that's up to us to keep working on that and keep refining that and uh, keep trying to evolve and get better. But this league, is, this league is brutal and Maidenhead are a tough team. Sometimes you can't underestimate a point. Because of course Mitch Walker came in for Laurie Walker, he's moved on to Stevenage, Corey Andrews, good move on to Colchester as well. The boys that have come in done a good job and also the boys on the bench as well, you know, Toby, Mo, just to name a few, have also come in and looked to impress. Yeah, fantastic. And I, and I always say to the lads and you earlier on that, that this is this is the club of opportunity. You get a chance here. You know, young players, players coming in on loan, you get to learn your trade, you get to have a great platform to try and further your career and you know we know where we are in the food chain we don't want to lose our best players but it's the nature of the game and um, you know those players have come in and done very well for us and you know they've secured two of them have secured moves into the league and um, you know other players coming back from injury other young players have you know Ben Scholl's dropped in had another appearance done very well Josh Fawau, Mo Betema and Toby Edsa um, all on the all come onto the bench today and you know probably too early if, if it's an ideal world, they uh, wouldn't have played as long as they did, Toby and Josh, and they you know, probably may not even been on the bench. They need more training. They, we need to build them up more, so we need to be really careful. But needs must, and I was really pleased with the impact that they made. And Toby had to got on, showed some real quality, what we were probably lacking in the first half. Got on the ball, got it moving. You know, We moved them about. And, and Joshua Wow showed his physicality when he came on as well, and, and that's after being both of them being out for three months. You know, I don't, I don't know the exact dates, but a long, long time. So real positives to take from the game. Um, disappointing not to get the three points. Won't underestimate a point in which was a, a big game against a team in and around us. It's important we never lost. Um, we've shown some good quality. We've got loads of room for improvement, which we can keep learning on, and we've got some vital minutes into players that, that needed it.
Exactly as you mentioned, the second half was much better than the first. And then if you're being critical, the first half to concede so late on might have been disappointing, but we responded well to it in the second half. Yeah, and that's all you can do. We're always disappointed, but we can't stay disappointed. We've got to react. It's a big part of us is um, our reactions and how we how we uh, respond to things. And I felt we, 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 we got on the front foot more, created a lot of chances. Like I said, we hit the post twice in the second half and uh, their keepers made two great saves as well. You know, four real guilt edge chances for us on another day might have gone in. But at the same time, against a tough opposition in Maidenhead and the disruption that we had so late, um, sometimes we'll, we'll, we'll take the point and move on. Over the last few weeks, it does seem we do come out in the second half a much better seed. Do you think that comes down to fitness, the work regime and everything like that, and the players you know, wanting to push on? I, I like to think so. Um, we're, we're an honest bunch. We've been working hard. Um, you know, uh, we, we ask, we're very demanding with the group and sometimes now we're hopefully starting to see some of the fruits of the work and seeds that we grew early. It was always going to take time. You can't get a team completely the way you want them um, straight away. You know, you need a full pre-season, you need a full season with them, you know, to really keep, you know, start to show really what your team's about. But we're, we're quick learning, we're, we're humble, we're hard working and, um, you know, we've got to just keep wanting to get better. Of course, people have mentioned it already, one defeat in nine and ten points off the relegation zone. It's a massive improvement over the last few weeks. Yeah, it's all about getting points on board. We, we know that. We had to adapt quite quickly. With, uh, you know, we were very unlucky in our early games where we played some lovely football, didn't quite get the points, and then we got, we got hurt at Wrexham, um, hurt with the scoreline and hurt with the amount of injuries that we got as well. So we had to adapt and adapt quickly, and we managed to do that. We've got points on board, but we've certainly got our feet firmly on the ground. This is a tough, tough league. If you think for a moment you're getting ahead and you're not, this league will, will hurt you quickly. Um, we, we can get them points on board, but you can just as quickly sometimes not get those points on board. So we've, we've got to keep wanting to get better. Keep improving, and um, you know, hopefully we'll get even more players back. Some players are starting to train as well. Kevin Locko, Cody Lyons Foster have um, started joining in training this week in bits and pieces. So we're starting to build them up. Mo Better, Matobi Edson, and Joshua Wow started training this week, um, got their chance as well. So we've got some players coming back. We've got a big signing sitting up in the stand. Unfortunately, watching should have been out on the pitch, but it's another story. But um, you know, hopefully, he'll be available for next week. So we're starting to see some competition for places. People are laying the gauntlet down for others. Um, so hopefully, we'll be in a in a healthier position going forward. I really thought we were going to be in a healthy position after Woking, and it was almost two steps forward, one step back. But um, that's the nature of the game, and we just got to keep reacting, keep responding and putting our best foot forward. We hope to react with the change of competition next week, Bromley at home, the FA Trophy. Yeah, definitely. And uh, a competition, you know, we want to go far in. We want to, you know, it's a dream date at the end of the season, in it? One that we, we would, you know, desperately want to go, go to. So we're going to be putting our best foot forward. We're going to be working hard this week and attacking that game to go and win it. And we make, make no doubt about it. And there's other opportunities for players to continue to build on those minutes players to cement that shirt for themselves and uh, a chance for us to, to improve. Are you a movie shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video. Click here to subscribe.